Hello, how you guys doing? Um, so some people have some questions on how to print from iCode. Well, um, let's see if I have it here. So Live Code has what's called uh, the iOS SDK. And uh, so this is SDK uh, R10. And along with the SDK um, Live Code or RunRev, they give you a couple examples like RRE Canvas, RRE Hard Copy, REE Mail, Microphone, Narrator, Sockets. Well, the Hard Copy will uh, allow you to do air print from a, a live code project target for iOS and uh, iOS 4.3 and some select devices. So here's my stack, and uh, so you'd open this up in Xcode. So this is Xcode 4.2, and uh, to build it, you would select the RRE hard copy, and you would select uh, the iOS device. What you would do is if you press down on the mouse button, you can see that you can select either the test or the uh, actual build. And you want to make sure you select the, the device. And you also want to make sure that you are building this for with the uh, compiler. And you also want to select the architectures of ARM 6 and ARM 7. So right here are the valid architectures. OK. And all you have to do is hit run. I've already done it, so when you hit run, it will build your binaries and it'll put them in this binary folder. So when you first get it, it will have some binaries there. Just put those in the trash and rebuild them. And you want to take these and add those to your project in the standalone settings, copy files. So you can see I already copied them in there. So when you build it, it will build it into your ec file. So here, this is a very simple application to show you how you can do this. Um, I have this camera roll icon and this print icon. And uh, while it says, let's see if I actually still have that up. Let me go in here. Within these files, let me go actually back into here. It'd be easier for us to look at that. This information here is what's available command-wise. So you can see the commands that they have in here. Let's actually make this so you can see it on the screen. So you can uh, see there's a function to see if uh, the hard copy is available. It's a Boolean value, so if it returns true, that means yes, printing is available. False, no it's not. Um, and then here's the command is the RRE hard copy print PDF. Um, and then it says in PDF as object C string, your print job name, and then you can have uh, these optional settings. Now I've noticed though, you can actually, it doesn't actually have to be a PDF file. It can be any core graphics file. So it can actually be uh, a ping file, a JPEG file, uh, so it can be an image file. It doesn't actually have to be a PDF. So if you're actually making, if you're actually going to do something where you're going to actually just want to print a photo, you can actually just not even go out to PDF. But if you're going to do text or stuff like that, uh, mixture stuff, then you'll have to do the PDF. So since this one here is just going to bring up a picture, so I'm going to run first the test. Uh, the printer doesn't work in the test uh, simulator. It might, if I do bring up the open print simulator, it might work, but uh, usually it doesn't. So I'll get one of the test photos here, this dog. And as I open this up, it's already saved this picture for me. And then here, if I hit print, nothing happens. So I do have to go to the device. So I'm going to do a, a capture of the device of it working. But first, let me show you the scripts on how this works. Okay. 
So here's how I import the image. And for my stack here, I have, you can see if I put a line size on there, it's a graphic. And so this is sort of my viewport or my view area for my image. And uh, I do this because I don't use anything like Mob GUI or anything like that. I just do it myself, real simple. So on uh, Touch Start, it deletes an image called uh, Untitled Snap. And I probably can't see this. Let me see if I can bring up Remo's uh, preferences here and get maybe about 18 point size. So you can see this a little bit better. And uh, I know my screen is cut off a bit to make this run better. So I delete an image called Untitled Snap. So basically, like we're in here, we see there's a picture. I've uh, called this Untitled Snap. If I click this again, it deletes the picture. And uh, it brings in our picture in there. Um, I do have it so when I build out to uh, an app, if I did click like this, it would bring that picture back up. It would do an undo. But that's a whole different story. I mean, this is just about printing. Okay, so then it locks the screen. It puts the width, the height, and the location of that graphic, and it puts it into these um, variables right here. The width, the height, and the location. Then I set the name of the template image to that untitled snap. And then I do the uh, iPhone call, or the iOS call, iPhone pick photo, library, T width, T height. Then I set the location of the last image. So the image has already been put on screen, but it's in the lock screen mode to this location of this graphic. Then I uh, set up the default folder to put it into the cache. And I put all the files of the cache into this variable tme. And if tme has a picture name last image in it, it deletes that. Because what I'm doing is I'm just saving the last image. And it's updated as I go throughout the application. And then I export the new image untitled snap to file last image. And I unlock the screen and that's how that picture comes up. Okay. And then here's uh, what I do for printing. I just take that special folder path, cache, and slash, last image, dot ping, and I put that into the PDF print spool. Um, but it's not a PDF, it's a ping, because it's a core graphics file, just like a PDF would be. And so I do RRE, hard copy, print PDF, T PDF spool. And then I call it printing photo. And then this answer result. And uh, so when I do the screen capture uh, with the live video of the um, iPad screen, you'll see what this does. And this is very good because when you're going to print, and I have an HP printer to test this out on. So I'm going to go to that video now and show you how you do that. It's pretty simple how to do all this. You can do it relatively fast and pretty easy. Okay. So I'm going to cut off this and then I'll, and you end up seeing a new video like snapped on the end of this, but this will be me uh, doing the uh, thing live. Um, if I remember how to stop it. Okay, so I'm going to, I'm shooting this with a, a still camera, so hopefully we get it all in there. So this is simple as, uh, we're going to bring up a, a picture file. Okay, so there's a picture of... Chicago and then up here we have our print so let me grab that and you can see there's our print display and it recognizes my printer right away number one thing I want to do is I want to turn off that double sided and if I hit print it is now gonna print it so it, it brings up some dialogues remember that result thing okay so my printer is starting to print it's going into the print dialog. Okay. And now it's printing. You can imagine it's a pretty big picture. And uh, I don't have photo paper in there. So it's going to uh, not look all that great. <laughs> um, so you can hear the printer going. The only thing is you don't have a lot of settings, like you can't set like you want, like to make just a fast ink thing, maybe not full color or something, or black and white. Okay, so here's 
my printer just printed out. So here is the, here's my desktop. <laughs> so there is our picture, as you can see. And it printed it pretty much like the picture in there did. And uh, it looks pretty good considering it was not printed on photo paper. So you can see, there you go, it works pretty good. And uh, so I'll turn that off and uh, hook that into that video I just showed you. And it works pretty good. Not bad.